everybody, Wokey Puppy here, and I've got a little bit of bad news for you all. So for this week's videos, uh, today and then the next two videos, um, I recorded them all and realized when I was going into editing that I didn't capture my commentary as I was recording them. So uh, I spent a little bit of time thinking about what I should do about that and whether it was better to just skip those days and give you guys a recap of what's going on or, or what you missed or if I should just try to re-record commentary um, when obviously I've decided to do that, right? So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna watch the video and I'm gonna do commentary right now and hope that the commentary that I create is similar to the one, the thing I would have said in the video, though I have no idea what I said. Um, so hopefully this is okay. Give me some feedback below if you would prefer this, if this ever happens again, though I am gonna do everything I can to make sure that never happens again. Um, or if you would just rather I skip these videos. Anyway, let's get right on to it and get going. Hello, everybody. Welcome up here, bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Today is the 22nd of winter year two of our completions farm lesser today, like we always do, by checking the weather report. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. Bundle up, folks, it's gonna snow. <laughs> Fantastic. And let's check in with the fortune teller as well. Oh, I see a glimmer with a mice crying orb, a shot of knowledge from the future. The spirits are somewhat apparently perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, that stinks. Uh, and we have living off the land as well. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. If you've got your hands on a gold pan, keep an eye out for something sparkly in the water. There's often good ore in there. Free for the taking. Cool. Um, we can check the calendar as well. Nothing going on today, uh, but it's our last week, our last week of year two. That's so exciting. And we only need, what is it, one more artifact? I think we only need one more artifact, just one, to complete all of the achievements for the entire, the entire series, everything that we've been trying to do, just this one left. Now, I have no idea what I'm saying right now in the original video because I was on that calendar for a very long time, but I'm sure it was something very similar to that, talking about how momentous it is that we are in the last week of the year. Um, and yeah, now we're looking at the achievements. Yeah, we only have the one achievement left. All we have left is the museum. Um, we definitely have all the minerals. We've checked that like 80 million times. And the artifacts, yeah, all we have left is the one skeletal hand. Now, that's a very difficult artifact to get because I have no control over my ability to get it, right? So I have to go check the backwoods every single day and hope that an artifact spot spawns and that that artifact spot gives me the skeletal hand. I can't do anything else about it. Fishing won't come. Mining won't come. The only way that it comes is with the uh, the artifact spots in the backwoods. And the backwoods is kind of a small area, and you don't get all that many artifact spots, so it's really not the best thing. And I check the calendar again. Okay, looks like we're going to say hello to the, to the kids now. Hello, little baby Sue. Mm, I love you. And we'll say hello to Abigail. I'm going into town today, just so you know. I need to stretch these legs a little bit. Mm. Uh, and where is little baby Tyrone? Did we lose Tyrone? Hello, Tyrone. Oh, I just walked right past Tyrone, didn't I? Just standing there creepily in the bedroom. <laughs> Hello, little Tyrone. And... Oh, yeah, we're checking our relationship now. So, Tyrone, we're leveled up all the way, which is awesome. We're leveled up with everybody else except for Sue. Sue we now have two hearts with. So, we're starting to build up a relationship with Sue. There's no way that we're going to be able to level it up completely between now and the end of year two. But that is okay. Uh, we still have somewhat of a relationship with her, so that's good. Don't eat the winter root, you fool. What are you doing? Uh, so we have quite a few of our, our winter seed plants done. So we should start gathering these up. Um, what I'm going to be doing probably all three days, if I rem remember what I did correctly, is um, working on organizing the farm for... Uh, starting in spring. We want to hit the ground running in spring. We do. And I've been working with the Stardew Valley Planner online to try to change the layout of the farm and come up with a, what I want the final layout to be. That's probably what we're going to be focusing on um, between now and the end of the year if we don't get that last artifact. Because that last artifact is the biggest thing by far. Uh, but there's that that only takes like a couple of minutes to go figure it, uh, to go check all those areas. It really isn't, you know, a full video's worth of content uh, to do that. 
Um, we have quite a few winter plants left, which is a bit annoying because I can't I can't change this area up a little bit. What my my plan is is to turn this area up here where we have the winter plants right now. I want to turn that into a ranching area for um, the animals, and I want to change the over the area where the animals are now into a growing field because it's a little disjointed the way it is right now, and that's kind of prime real estate for for growing um, stuff. Now this right outside the house is as well. Uh, but then I remembered that, you know, every single day we're walking all the way over to those animals uh, to take care of them every single day. And we don't need to take care of crops every single day. So it probably makes a little bit more sense that I have that closer to the house. We save a little bit of time. Uh, the other thing I have planned to do is shift all those buildings around a little bit. I think I wanna add two more sheds. Um, and just try to lay that out a little bit neater and then fix the roads quite a bit uh, to try to make that look a little bit neater as well. Uh, now we just have just a bunch of junk in our pockets, so I think I'm gonna empty it out now. Um, now we, I know we cut down a bunch of trees last time and we were working on getting all of that honey, not honey, oh, what is it, maple syrup, because we have that huge bee area and I think that bee area is so beautiful. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. I think it's gonna be so awesome. Um, when it's all done, I can't wait to have the whole thing done and get our first batch of fairy rose honey. It's going to be so cool. There's so much awesomeness. Alrighty, so now I think I'm probably just talking about taking care of animals. Yeah, <laughs> so let's go take care of those animals. Uh, we got all of our pigs who are doing absolutely nothing for us all winter. And, um, oh, I can't wait till spring till we start getting truffles again. Ah, oh, that would be so great. We say all these piggies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hello, piggies. And uh, okay, we got our our iridium iridium milk and iridium goat's milk. So it's a good day. Uh, yeah, don't really care about anything going on there. Uh, let's go take care of our coop friends. Uh, we got a feather, which we're just gonna we got two feathers, which we're gonna sell those straight up. Uh, say hello to everybody. Hello, little quackers, little duck ducks, little bu little box box, little uh, bun buns. Say hello, everybody, and a little dinosaur friend. I don't know what to call you. I don't know what to call you at all. I'll just call you Dinosaur. What is his name? Wernard? Isn't that the... I don't remember what I named the dinosaur. It was something silly. There, I have a Wernard. I just don't remember what Wernard is. Oh, I already checked that. Why did they go back in there? Silly boy. Uh, What are we going to do now? Go check on animals again? Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to go do our machines now, for sure. Uh, so, oh, look at all that iron. Oh, yeah, because I was making all that iron for the, um, the bee houses. Yeah, so we, we should be making bee houses today. That would be a really good thing for us to do. Let's see if we do that. <laughs> uh, this is so weird because I like I, 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 I as I'm doing things, I remember having done them, but I don't know what I'm going to do next. This is a very strange experience for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's grab up all this iron. And did we keep the the coal? Yeah, we did. We kept the ore on us. Okay, so let's smelt some more. I don't think we have enough to fill all of them, do we? Or is it just enough? Oh, we're just short. <laughs> oh, we're just a few bits of ore short to do them all. That is annoying. Oh, look at this. We got starfruit wine. Oh, starfruit wine is amazing. Um, that probably also means that our oak resin is done up in the area by Linus. So we should probably go and get that and make some more kegs as well today. Uh, that would be a really good thing to do because that wine is worth so much money. We want that running all the time. We never want that to be idle. So let's grab all that wine. Glorious, glorious wine. And now I don't have enough casks in order to age all of it. And it really doesn't make sense to age it all, all the time. Now, what I do eventually want to get to is having an entire set of casks down in the cellar. The absolutely maximum amount I have and always have a batch of wine aging. But I'm not going to like save up all the wine and wait for it to, to go through the aging process because it just takes too long. It just takes way too long. I mean, it is worth it for a single batch, but you don't want to like, you, you don't want to create a huge bottleneck of all of your wine to go through it. And I think I'm just going to sell all this stuff outright, right? Yeah, all the artisan goods and the feather probably... Yep, there it goes. <laughs> and yep, the mayonnaise. That'll be it. Everything else we need to keep. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna hop on our horse and probably go check the backwoods, which would be a very smart thing to do. We need to do that absolutely every single day. Oh, Julie got in our way. Get out of the way, Julie. Um. So nothing so far. Oh, get out of the way, birds. 
yeah, no artifact spots, which is a serious over. And yep, look, we got our oak resin, which is fantastic. Uh, looks like there's some pine tar as well, which we don't really have any use for pine tar. I'm probably just going to sell it or um, I may throw it into the stack of other stuff we have. Yeah, you know, I know that the skeletal hand is not going to show up in those those areas outside of the backwoods, but it's like you can't. You can't not try, because <laughs> what if the game glitches? Oh, cool. Oh, we're going to move some farm buildings. I'm excited. I didn't remember that I did this now. Oh, yeah, we're looking at, we might do this at some point. We might build Pam a house, but we need almost a thousand wood and 500,000 gold. So that's quite expensive. There's quite a few things that we need to use wood for. So um, I'm probably not going to do it for a while. Not until I have the farm completely maxed out the way I want it. Not until we're producing at maximum optimal capacity. And then we can build that house for Pam. <laughs> uh, she can come then. Uh, now, what am I talking about? Oh, okay. So we're looking at, I definitely want to build a shed. Um, and I was talking about, I might build some cabins. I might build um, with a, uh, or I might build a well and I might build a windmill. Now, I remember this. I decided not to do anything with with uh robin on monday and then i immediately regretted that the next day because i'm like oh i can't do anything because she's not there and i was like oh i'll just do this tomorrow forgetting that it was monday and robin just goes and works out all day on tuesday and she's unavailable like who does that on a tuesday robin on a tuesday um but anyway <laughs> uh let's make ourselves some kegs and bee houses that sounds like fun all right, so we had to pick up that that stuff. And priority is definitely kegs. We want to get the kegs in. We want to get them making wine because that is a ton of money. And the bee houses, they won't produce anything until spring. And even then, the first batch is probably just going to be wild honey because we won't have time to grow flowers that early on in the beginning of uh, spring. Oh, I hate misplacing things. That's just, that is the worst. It's like the whatever the opposite of oddly satisfying is that like definitely infuriating is misplacing something <laughs> um those birds are cute the statues i don't know what I'm, I'm gonna do with all these statues but i have tons of statues it's gonna be it's gonna be glorious i think once i have all the paths laid out and i have the buildings where i want them and i have like the overall structure of where everything is going to be then i'll start trying to dot the area with statues here and there now i think today we are using the last of our star fruit um and we are going to start using ancient fruit to make ancient fruit wine, which is awesome because we have tons of ancient fruit and we have a, uh, a greenhouse full of ancient fruit that we are constantly growing more and more ancient fruit in. So we will be transitioning to solely ancient fruit wine until we grow a big batch of star fruit, probably in summer year three, uh, which is fine. And then we'll just keep those those star fruit saved up for a while. Um, now, another thing that I realized after this fact <laughs> is um, my growing area, my, my plans for my growing area needs three Junimo huts. And if you recall, we need star fruit to make a Junimo hut and I saved no star fruit. So yeah. We're gonna probably, when we lay it out, we're going to probably, you know, leave the spot open for the third Junimo hut, but we're gonna have to like manually pick everything down there for a while, which is super annoying, but uh, it is what it is. We'll be fine. And like um, last time or last year, year two, year in year two, I used coffee beans for the spring and the summer crop and just kind of took that all the way through. And I'm probably not going to do that in year three. In year three, I'll probably, I may have a little bit of coffee, but um, I, I use, I, I want to use pretty much all of the summer crop area for star fruit. I want to do a massive crop of star fruit. Absolutely massive crop of star fruit. Now we just made ourselves a ton of bee houses, lots and lots of bee houses. So let's just start dotting them on all these paths. And if you remember when I laid this out, uh, the last episode, I think, uh, everything that has the weathered floor, that, that, that wood floor gets a bee house on it. So this area around this is going to be absolutely massive. And you can see the little hoed bits in the center of that crystal path. That's where the flowers are going to be. And I spent a pretty long time finagling all of that to where, uh, all of the bee houses are within range of one of those flowers. 
I can still walk all the way around it, and I can walk all the way in the inner ring in between the flowers and the bee houses, and I can get to every single bee house to get their honey. <laughs> so that took quite a while to, to get all of that straight, but uh, it's there, it works, and it's a ton. I think it's all. It's nearly 100 bee houses. I think it's like 94 or 96 or somewhere in that in that range, but it's over 90 and under 100. I know that. Um, it's a lot of bee houses. A lot of bee houses. Uh, so it's gonna take quite a while to get all that. Uh, we don't. We, I mean, in just, the, just, just getting enough maple syrup to do all that. It's gonna take a very long time. I might have to just make a whole bunch more tappers, like maybe like 20 tappers, and just go nuts. Um, and actually, that might not be a bad plan to like make 20 tappers and put them all on maple trees and get a ton of maple syrup for like three or four weeks, and then maybe switch it all to oak resin to oak trees, and get a ton of um, a ton of oak resin. Might not be a bad plan, or maybe do both. I don't know. I I need so much wood for so many things right now that um, I don't know. I probably have to play it somewhat conservatively with the wood because it's a finite resource. One of the things I do want to do between now and the next year is I want to go into the desert and just plant a ton of trees. And I don't. They, I know they won't grow in winter, but if I have them all planted in winter, they'll be in optimal growing time uh, in spring. And once spring hits, we're going to be super busy. Uh, because there's just gonna be so much to do. Okay, we made a bunch more bee houses, which is amazing. Looks like we're probably about maybe somewhere between a quarter and a third of the way through building all of these bee houses. Um, now the reason we were able to get so far is because we had so much maple syrup, but now we're out of maple syrup, so that's not gonna that's not gonna keep going at that at that speed. That's for sure. I don't know what I'm doing with this this stone floor. Probably not anything. Let's see. <laughs> uh, are we? Yes. Okay. So in this episode, we're taking up the path. I decided that I really, really like Crystal Path. I think it looks really good. I think it looks way better than stone. So yep, I'm taking up the whole stone path and I'm putting down a new Crystal Path. And the way I designed the, the farm, the way I laid it out is uh, I want there to be like Big, like a big grid-like intersection across the whole map that doesn't curve around anything. And then the stuff in the quadrant of the map, I want those to be a little bit more organically shaped to the map itself. I do wish that you could build a bridge in this. That would be really cool if you could put bridges on top of water so that you could walk on it. Um, I don't think you can do that. Uh, or if you can, I have no idea how to do it. But if you if I could, then that would be even better. But uh, we're just going to act like there's a bridge there or ignore the fact that the road doesn't go all the way through. We're going to act like it does um, just to give a little bit of like aesthetic balance. So a little bit of symmetry. So I feel a little bit better about it. Yeah, so we got to take all this this path out. This is going to take quite a while, but that's OK. That's kind of part of the process. That's part. That's, it's almost therapeutic to be able to just purge all this. Right. <laughs> um, so we have tons of stone path. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the stone path uh, because hey, we have quite a lot of it. We have quite a lot of stone path. Um, but what I, what I am going to focus on is getting this moved, uh, probably getting buildings moved. I won't be able to get buildings moved this episode because it's too late or next episode because it'll be Tuesday. But I think the episode after that, we're going to start moving some buildings around. And, um, you know, trying to just get this stuff done. Um, I don't know that I do anything else other than <laughs> to take up this floor the whole time. So maybe I can talk just a little bit more about what the plan is as we go through this. So, I mean, the plan is to make this big crystal path going vertically from one entrance of the of the farm all the way down to the other entrance of the farm. And like I said, like the path is going to run into this little water divot here in the middle. So it won't be complete or perfect, uh, but it'll still probably give you a good visual aesthetic is what I was thinking. And then the other one is going to run all the way from the entrance on the other side to the greenhouse, I think, or to this this um, this area here. And now this area in the middle, I'm going to square it off a bit and make a grid of Junimo huts surrounded by sprinklers with the appropriate amount of scarecrows in the center to keep everything covered. Um, not 100% optimally laid out, but again, balanced visual aesthetic. Um, <clears throat> to 
to where we can we can have a really nice little lovely looking farm. Uh, so we got all the path up, which is which is a big accomplishment because we put a ton of path down. And um, what are we gonna do now? I don't remember. We're we gonna start putting crystal path down. Yes, we are. Yes, give me that crystal floor. <clears throat> I should say crystal floor because crystal path is a thing and I don't like it at all. <laughs> I like crystal floor. So let's get that down and you'll see how good it looks. Like you will see how good it looks. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it looks so good. I do like it. I do like it a lot. And maybe you guys don't. Let me know. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not going to change it because... Um, you know, there's just a lot of it done and it is quite expensive compared to stone floor. Uh, refined quartz is not as easy to get as stone. That is for sure. <laughs> I accidentally put a piece down there. That is so annoying. All right. You sell the diamond. Go pick up that other crystal floor. Please tell me I saw that crystal floor. Okay. It did. Good. <laughs> Good. Pick that up. What's wrong with you? Now, um, now, yeah, don't mess this up. Okay, we're just going to keep going this way. I was, I was going to say, don't mess up the vertical path because we have the building in the wrong place. I remember that. Uh, we're just going to go to here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's getting late. I'll figure out the rest later. I don't remember exactly where it's supposed to go. Oh, I only have one piece left. Yeah, let's go put that down. All right, it's midnight. What are we doing? Okay, we're going to get a little bit more refined quartz and then we're probably going to put another batch in is what I would guess because we have so much quartz. Um... Yep, get all that in. So we have another batch going. Oh, we ran out of coal. I totally forgot that we ran out of coal. How do you run out of coal in this game? I don't think I've ever run out of coal. Uh, I'm just smelting so much stuff. Oh, and I made all those bee houses. That's why. Yeah, those bee houses each take like eight coal. That would do it. That would definitely do it. We made so many bee houses. And we have to make so many more. Uh, it's going to take a very long time to get all that, but that'll be kind of the adventure of year three is trying to do not a little bit of everything like we have been doing with the completions farm, but doing a very high volume of a few things, which are normally not high volume things, right? So you really just have to do a ton of work and a ton of like input of resources in order to make that happen. Uh, now it's 1 a.m. So hopefully I realize that at some point. I don't remember. I don't think I fall asleep, but maybe I do. Maybe if maybe I collapse, maybe I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't put it past me. I've done it several times before. Um, we only have two bits of crystal path left too. Oh geez. Oh yeah. Let's take these up. Uh, some lamps, so I can start moving some stuff around. Then I'm gonna take these other decorations up. Yeah. Okay. So all of this stuff is in the way, pretty much. Is is why I'm doing this. Um, there's more stuff in the way that I didn't take up, but. You know, we won't deal with that. We are going to go to bed, though, because uh, it's 140. And I did realize that it was 140 and that I needed to go to bed. So that's excellent. Way to go, me. Now, uh, we actually had a really good day. And I think the reason that we had a really good day is because of all that wine. So we made 163,000 gold out of 187,000 golds just from... Um, just from artisan goods. Now the other one, like the foraging was 22,000 gold. And the reason that one was so high is because of all those winter forageables that we, we, um, we planted the winter seeds that we took up and did. Yeah. The star fruit wine itself was 160,000 gold. That dwarfs everything else there. And then, yeah, all of this is the forageables that we farmed from the winter seeds, which is actually a fair amount of gold. Like the pine tar was almost nothing. Everything else was the stuff that we planted and dug up. Everything except for 300 gold was the stuff that we we farmed. So quite a bit. Um, was it four, 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 ten, what, twelve, twenty-two thousand ish? Yeah, yeah, twenty-two thousand two hundred twenty. Um, so it was almost it was like twenty, what, twenty-one nine hundred. Um, but. It looks like I'm wrapping up, so I am going to wrap this video up here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like below to let me know that. Don't forget to subscribe to show your support for the channel. If you have any feedback or comments for me, leave those below in the comment section. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video.